Are you ready to work those inner thighs? This is a follow along, so quickly get your gear ready and we come sideways onto your mat and we take the legs as wide as you can. Once your legs are wide, hands on the hips. Inhale and as you exhale, come into tabletop. That means keep the head up as you go down. When you tabletop, release your hands to the floor. And if you can't reach the floor, place a block under your hands or something. And from here, we're gonna keep opening the legs. We're stretching into the inner thighs and just keep opening the legs until you can't anymore. When you've reached your limit, we hold it. Legs are straight. Hold it. If you go lower and your toes wants to turn up, feel free to let them turn up as you go lower. And exhale, lower the toes. If they are up, press into the hands, wiggle your feet, heel toe back to tabletop, toes pointing forward. And from here, we're going to stretch more into the inner thigh, warming up. So as you exhale, bring your head down to the floor, lower your hands. If you want to, you can turn the fingers pointing to the back. If your legs want to open some more, but this time the toes are pointing forward. Don't let the toes point out, bring them forward. And exhale, bring your head as low as you can today to the floor and walk the hands to the back and try and reach the top of the head onto the floor. And we hold it, legs are straight, stretching into the inner thighs, the back, the buttocks. All your awareness on your breath and your body and do not force it. And inhale, slowly start walking the hands back and then heel toe them a little bit closer. Bring your hands back on the hips. Use your core, lift the head into tabletop and inhale very slowly. We come up. Very good, heel toe, heel toe. Okay. And from here, we're gonna open the legs just a bit wider than your hips and take the toes out. We're gonna go into goddess pose. So engage the core and remember, when you're in any kind of squat, knees over the feet and the spine is neutral. So that will say your core is a little bit engaged. It's not relaxed. The core is a little bit engaged. So the tailbone gets a tiny bit tucked in for a neutral spine. Okay, and inhale, arms up. And as you exhale, come down, bend the knees, tuck the tailbone and strong arms, elbows in line with the shoulders. And we are in goddess pose, engage the core. Now, what will happen here with weak inner thighs, your knees will fall in, especially when you start to get tired. This will damage your knees. Make sure to use the inner thighs, engage your core and open the knees over the feet and we hold it you can go as low as you want to if you want to go lower we want to try end up here one day if that's too strong for you you come a bit up even if you're up here level one level two level three and we hold it strong arms so you're holding something heavy like a ball a heavy ball and we hold goddess pose all your awareness on your body and your breath. And 
and inhale straighten the legs and exhale lower your arms very good keep the legs as they are we're going gonna go into a side squat only go as low as your hips and knees allow you we're going to stretch some more into the inner thighs so we're gonna go to the left so bend the left knee toes are pointing out depends on the rotation of your hip a little bit out or all the way see what works for you and exhale knee goes over the foot so the knee doesn't fall in use your inner thigh and pull it over the foot and we go down if you just want to go this far try not to let the heel lift stretching into the right inner thigh the left hips left Achilles heel left knee you can get hold of the floor if you want to go lower if your body allows you and you'll see as soon as your hips go a certain depth into your hips automatically wants to open up and the right toes come up so feeling the stretch onto the right side and the left hip hold on to the floor if you need to and inhale walk your hands on the floor pivot your right toes out and we're gonna go the other side stretching into the left inner thigh right hip if the heel wants to lift it's okay but try and keep it down and inhale to the center pivot your toes back to the front and slowly come up very good and we're gonna go back into goddess pose so pivot your toes out engage the core inhale stretch up exhale bend the knees bend the elbows come back into goddess pose hold it strong arms strong legs knees over the feet if you need to take a break do so but join in again and from here we're gonna lift the right heel and as we lower the right heel we're gonna lift the left so we're gonna go from right to left don't forget your posture keep the core engaged keep the knees over the feet keep the arms strong Take a break if you need to. If you don't need to, carry on. Very good. And back in Cortez. And now if you want to, on the tippy toes, ooh, keep your balance and hold it. heels down and inhale come up relax the arms and sigh it out very good take a sip of water we're gonna go back into goddess pose for the last time inhale exhale and we hold it Just go a little bit lower, hold it. And inhale, push in the heels and come up and relax. Very good. And heel, toe, feet together. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Now we're gonna stretch some more into the inner thighs. So, um, with your left leg as far forward as you can right to the back so we're gonna go into a kind of equestrian but it's a variation of it so bring your hands down to the floor don't put the back knee down we're on the toes at the back and you bring the knee over the toes 
let the heel lift a little bit. So we're not on the ball, but the heel is lifting a little bit and the knee is over the toes and the back leg is as straight as you can make it. And we look up with a straight back, holding the back leg up, straighten that knee. Feeling the stretch into the right groin. Inhale and exhale. Press into the hands and take the left leg back into down dog. It's just for transition. And we bring the right leg forward. If you can't do that, please put your knees down and then bring the right foot forward. Left knee does not go to the floor. Right knee over the toes on the right. Right heel might lift maybe. And look up straight back. Back leg is not bent. Straighten the back leg and we hold it. And exhale, release, right leg back into down dog, knees down, come into Vajrasana. Tip of the day. Whenever you do squats or lunges or warriors, check your knees. If you get tired, you'll see your knees start to fall in. Make sure to engage the inner thigh and pull the knee back. Even when your daily life, like for example, when you climb steps, uh, while you're climbing and you might get tired, watch your knees, make sure they don't fall in. And thank you for joining me for this session. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thank you for watching. Ariyom, that's it.